Welcome back to Coogan's Critters. Today, we will be discussing skills and principles in dairy production. Dairy production involves, you guessed it, dairy animals, namely cows and goats. While there are over 800 breeds of globally recognized cows, there are roughly six popular dairy cows. These cows are easily recognizable based off physical features, traits, and origin. Here is a quick breakdown. The Holstein Friesian, a black and white cow from the Netherlands and the most popular dairy cow used today. The Jersey, a brown or brown and white cow from a small island in the English Channel with growing popularity. The Brown Swiss, with the self-explanatory name, the Brown Swiss is a brown cow from the Swiss Alps, known for being strong and resilient. The Guernsey. Fawn colored with white spots, it originated on the Isle of Guernsey in the English Channel and is slightly less popular. The Ayrshire. This Scottish cow is red and white but can vary from orange to brown and features desirable health traits. Finally, the Milking Shorthorn. An influential English cow with high levels of fertility and grazing efficiency. Dairy animals are fed to, quote, ad lib, case by case, with much depending on body size, milk production, etc. These are factors in what we call DMI, dry matter intake, which is akin to feed intake. Some cows may eat up to 5% of their body weight based off certain factors. Low DMI can have negative impacts, and so, when feeding a dairy animal, you should provide sufficient nutrients, proteins, vitamins, and minerals. So what happens if my cow has a low DMI intake, you may ask? The cow may experience excessive body weight loss, low fertility levels, metabolic diseases, etc. Cows produce dairy products. Dairy products are defined as products containing or made from milk and primarily refer to milk, butter, cheese, cream, and yogurt. Milk is produced in a few simple steps. First, the milk must be, to put it simply, milked. Cows are milked in milking parlors, which have four common styles. The parallel parlor, which involves the cows standing parallel and being milked from behind. All milking takes place consecutively. No milking begins until all cows are in their stalls and cows all leave at one time. The tandem parlor has cows positioned nose to tail in separate stalls. Cows can leave separately so no one has to wait for a slow milker. The airing bone parlor is common for smaller herds in which the cattle stand at an angle of 45 degrees with a different access point and different equipment. In the rotary parlor, cows are in stalls on a circular rotating platform for the convenience of workers and can leave after one to two laps around the circle for the cow's convenience. Cows are also kept on different kinds of dairies. Freestall dairies. Temperature geared for more efficient production, these dairies have ventilation in their barns and keep cows warm during harsher weather. Dry lot dairies. For drier weather, these dry, dirt ground dairies allow cows to roam freely around and in a covered shelter. Fans are present to keep cows cool. Pasture based dairies. Traditional dairies with green pastures and cows that are often outside the barn. After cows are milked, their milk is cooled within two hours, processed, pasteurized, and sent to stores for sale. It is important that before consuming dairy products that they are cold, without mold, pasteurized, contained, and used timely for your safety. Dairy animals should be handled and milk should be produced properly. This is to ensure everyone's satisfaction and well-being. That's all for today. Check out our latest video and don't forget to hit the like button.